Hey everyone, Austin here again with another Let's Play video. Today, as you can see, it's going to be the Pinball Arcade, this time the Adams Family Table. This is an all-time classic pinball machine, one of my favorites, actually, in terms of real pinball. And uh, what I'm going to do here is try to have a game, and hopefully have a good game, and basically explain almost everything there is to explain about the game. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here, a lot of stuff to cover, and it's not very difficult to get a lot of extra balls in this version of the game and just keep your game going forever, so hopefully that'll give me enough time and room to explain a whole bunch of different things about this game. Unfortunately, this is one of those tables that was delisted on the Pinball Arcade, so you can no longer buy it. Uh, but if you do have it like I do, you can still play it, and you can still rank on leaderboards and things like that. And you can still show it off in Let's Plays like I'm uh, doing right now. So, uh, without further ado, ado, let's go ahead and just hit the Start button here and jump right into the game. So, uh, like my other Pinball Arcade videos, we're going to be doing this sort of uh, top-down perspective. Uh, which I find is the easiest to uh, manage, you know, all my shot opportunities and angles and things like that. It's just, uh, it's my, my way of playing the best. If I get a, a play field angle that's right, you know, in front of the flippers, uh, it's really hard to see where I'm shooting and whatnot. So I like this top down perspective. So, um, but yeah, first thing you can do here is you've got uh, the plunge on the right. Uh, you got a couple different things you can do. You can do a full plunge and have the ball go all the way around into the pop bumpers. You can do a short plunge and have the ball kick out from the right scoop above the right slingshot. Or you can try to do a skill shot, which I usually can't find on this, but we're going to go ahead and try to find it. That was overshooting, and uh, so unfortunately that ended up going all the way into the pops, which is really dangerous. Okay, so if you look in the middle of the playfield, uh, this game actually, unlike Bram Stoker's Dracula that we did just recently, has specific uh, modes and goals to go for. And uh, so there's actually one mode that's flashing right now. It's Thing, which is a, uh, a quick multi-ball. And to start your mode, what you want to do is shoot uh, either the rightmost scoop or shoot the chair scoop. Uh, so I'm going to try to backhand the ball into the chair. And uh, what I'm going to do is let the ball just bounce off the uh, left flipper and I can trap it on the right flipper. And then shooting up the middle just like that will award my quick multi-ball. That was actually about the best I could do with that is bounce the ball over, hit the middle shot, start quick multi-ball. And so now I get uh, a second ball in play, so we get a quick multi-ball to start with. Now there are a couple things of note uh, with the multi-balls in this game. Unfortunately, these magnets come on uh, in the center of the playfield. You'll notice that there are these, uh, these flashing lights, and uh, that's actually really dangerous, especially in the pinball arcade. Uh, you'll fling a ball up, the ball will get caught by the magnets, and, uh, and chances are you're not going to be able to get control over it. So, if you want to collect your 12 million jackpot here, uh, what you want to do is shoot uh, to the left of the bookcase. So the bookcase actually had rotated around. It's up there near the upper right flipper. You can see that red light flashing, indicating that I want to shoot the ball there. Um, so, you know, you can try to do that, or you can try to progress towards other things. What I like to do is try to progress towards my next mode. Um, to qualify your next mode, all you have to do is hit either ramp, either the upper left ramp from the upper right flipper, or you could shoot the uh, the bear kick ramp uh, or the bear ramp uh, up in the center of the playfield. That's going to be your most common ramp in this game. And you can see there that the uh, the magnets actually had grabbed my ball. But because I had hit that ramp during that multi-ball, it actually qualified my next mode. So I can actually go right back into my next mode. And the idea is to go through all your modes and then get the question mark that resides at the top of the mansion. If you can do that, uh, you'll get an instant 50 million points, which on a real machine is actually a lot of points. Uh, in the Pinball Arcade, it's not a lot of points because you can go through, um, you can go through uh, your modes uh, very easily in this. And uh, we actually hit the thing flips, uh, you know, in lane. Uh, it's the on the left hand side. You'll notice there are two in lanes. The one on the far left is thing flips and if you shoot the the middle ramp after that thing will actually try to flip the ball across the playfield on its own you don't have to do anything so another thing is we're in the mode called raise the dead right now and the idea is to try to hit the pop bumpers to get a lot of points but uh what i usually do in this game is i just ignore the modes completely for the most part uh raise the dead in particular because it puts the ball in danger um, when the ball kicks out from the chair, I can just hold up the left flipper as well, which is recommended. And what I'm going to do is just go for the center ramp again and fail. And uh, that's okay. There's going to be a lot of failure in this playthrough. And that's our first tilt warning, unfortunately. So you get a couple of tilt warnings, and then if you tilt again, uh, the game will just actually shut off. Uh, it'll force you to drain your ball. 
and you lose it. So on the middle part of the playfield, up in the top, the little mini ramp, there's a uh, red light that's flashing. That's indicating you have an extra ball. And I'm not going to bother collecting that right now because it's going to remain lit uh, for uh, quite a while. Um, actually, pretty much it'll remain lit until I collect it. So I'm not really too worried about it. We will get it. My what I want to do is get that left uh, that left chair. And so you can post strip post transfer in this, but uh, let's see how we can do it. There we go, just like that. So I find it's a lot easier to hit that chair from the left hand side. You just backhand the ball straight into it, just like so. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, trap the ball like this. This is safer than letting the ball bounce over. I found. Let's go ahead and hit that center ramp again, and try to hit that chair and miss. And uh, let's try that again, and completely failing, but that's okay. We got the ball in the left flipper, or not. I don't want to tilt too much. Let's go ahead and get that extra ball. That'll actually feed up to the uh, upper right flipper, and I can try to hit that upper ramp, which is tough to hit, but it's very satisfying. And then I can do a, a combo into the uh, into the toxic waste pool uh, to get uh, some points. So let's go ahead and hit that chair and fail. There we go. So I actually hit the uh, the leftmost in lane, and now the rightmost, or sorry, not the leftmost in lane. I meant the rightmost in lane, and then I hit the leftmost in lane. The rightmost in lane on the left hand side, uh, what that does is it qualifies your ramp for double bear kicks. You'll notice every time I hit that ramp, it says 11 bear kicks. And there's an award for uh, for doing that. So 15 bear kicks actually will just collect my next mansion award. So if I can't hit the chair, I can at least hit the, the center bear kick ramp over and over. And I'll eventually just have mode start because of that. And I just tilted. So I lost any end of ball bonus for doing that, which is unfortunate. Uh, very unfortunate. So let's go ahead and try to get that skill shot again. And that was too far once again. I find the skill shot to be very difficult to get on the pinball arcade version of Adam's Family. Whereas on the real machine, it's a lot easier to get. That's actually one of the few things in pinball arcade that is actually harder than the real machine. Let's try to backhand that again. There we go. Got it. Very easy shot. I don't know why I was missing it so often, but it's okay. It is what it is. So we're just going to keep repeating this. We have another extra ball lit as well, because that was uh, one of the, uh, well, there was another extra ball lit, so. And there's a lot of extra balls that get lit over the course of the playthrough. This is one of those pinball arcade tables you can literally play forever. Let's go ahead and collect that thing flips. I like collecting thing flips when, it, when it's lit, because it's pretty reliable, and you get an easy 5 million points guaranteed. And since I hit that middle ramp, we've got our next mode lit, so we hit that chair, and we brick. There we go, we got it. If you hit the rightmost in lane, uh, the left orbit through the pop bumpers actually lights uh, for a bonus in the ball bonus multiplier, and uh, that can actually add up. So one of the next things we can do is actually hit the the bookshelf or the bookcase, um, and what that'll do is light uh, ball locks for multi ball. And to lock balls, what you want to do is either shoot the uh, scoop behind the bookcase, or on your first multi ball, hit the center shot up center shot up top. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually just try to start my next mode, just like so, and just continue going through our uh, our modes, our mansion. And it looks like we just got awarded a. Uh, no, that was that was our main mode. Never mind. I was just thinking of something else. So let's go ahead and hit that center ramp and miss. Try to hit that middle shot. There we go. That was intentional. So that will actually lock our first ball for multi ball. All right, so two things you could do here. You can try to go for a skill shot, or you can do the short plunge. And the short plunge will actually... Oops, too far. Again, I can't even short plunge on this. Jeez. Uh, the short plunge will actually automatically lock your next ball. So very handy uh, to know. And uh, now what I can do, I can short plunge again, instead of risking plunging the ball all the way around like I just did la last time, is get that short plunge going, and it'll kick the ball out from the right-hand side. And what I can do is just shoot the chair now to start my multi-ball. And there are the magnets. Let's try this again. So one trick you could do is you can actually just hold on to the ball, and after, I don't know, about 10 or 15 seconds or so, 
the uh, the magnet power will actually stop and that's when you can actually go for the chair that's probably the the safest route to go if you're trying to just lock the ball so you notice that it's no longer flashing in the middle so that's a perfect time to start your multi-ball that's a trick that uh, more professional pinball players use when they're playing in competition on Adam's Family. Um, when they're in multi-ball, they literally just wait around all day for the magnets to stop. And it's really boring to watch, but it's a viable strategy. And, uh, you know, the balls on the multi-ball always kick out right, left, right. And my goal is to hit the ball up to the upper flipper and then uh, hit the super jackpot, which is uh, the uh, either the ramp or the train shot. Let's see if we can do this. And we failed. It's okay. I'm just going to hold the right flipper up because the ball just kicks out to the uh, from the right. There's another try. Let's try it again. Boom. There we go. Double jackpot. And now what I have to do is hit the uh, the lock shot behind the, uh, the bookcase if I want to relight my jackpot. You can get some good points from this, but honestly, it's uh, you know so easy to keep your game going in the pinball arcade uh, version of Adam's Family that you're almost better off just not even playing uh, multi-ball at all. Just doing some random stuff like trying to hit some bear kicks and then just going through your mansion again. And there we go. And we failed. All right, feeds the right flipper. Go to the middle shot, just like so. All right, upper ramp again. Let's see if we can get it. And we failed again. Just hold the right flipper up. It's going to kick out from the right, just like so. All right, up the middle and fail. Up the middle again. Now I'm just flailing. But I've let the balls get out of control, unfortunately. What you really want to do is just trap up and then stay trapped. There we go, just like this. So one ball on the left flipper, one on the right. Hold that right flipper up. The magnet actually grabbed the ball that time. That was a post transfer, that was intentional. And I shot way too early there, and that's it. Failed the multi-ball, or failed to get the super jackpot, unfortunately, but it's okay. So the magnets are off, so now I'm going to go ahead and try to hit that chair again, start my next mode. And we only have a couple of more modes. And now, unfortunately for Seance here, the magnets come back on in the middle of the play field. So this is a really risky mode. Um, but it's worth decent points if you can get it. It's worth uh, 30 million total. And so you have to hit the either ramp, either upper ramp, uh, three times. And I keep uh, overshooting. And that actually started our next mode because we... Uh, I don't even know why it actually started our next mode because I don't remember hitting uh, one of the ramps. But that's it. So we're up to 20, uh, 20 bear kicks now. And uh, one thing I like to do once I start getting higher up into the game is really collecting my bonus end of ball bonus multipliers. Um, so it looks like uh, I think uh, quick multi ball is actually lit, uh, so we can try to collect that. I'd rather actually collect it, uh, you know, on my second tour of the mansion. But we'll go ahead and just play it out right now. We'll try to go for uh, a bunch of bear kicks here. So bear kicks, uh, you can actually get them up to 99, and then after that you start super bear kicks, where every ramp is worth uh, a good little chunk of points, maybe five million or something like that. Um, oops, I tried going for that skill shot, but I overshot it again. Again, I'm really terrible with the skill shot on the pinball arcade version of Adam's Family. So what I can do is I can try to go for the vault, which is behind, again, the bookcase, or I can try to just go for, say, bear kicks and progress towards getting super bear kicks. And I can try to get my bone into ball bonus multiplier up. I can get some upper ramps up. Uh, which I'm having a really hard time shooting that upper ramp, unfortunately. All right, see if we can backhand the middle ramp. And the magnets actually grabbed it. You'll notice that the, the ball just stopped dead in its tracks. There we go. And the magnets are really, really strong in the pinball arcade version of Adam's Family. 
But my next mode's lit because I did hit the center ramp. So let's go ahead and start it on the chair. Now all I need to do is just hit the ramp, any ramp, and then um, and then hit the chair again. So this is Tunnel Hunt. Tunnel Hunt is actually kind of fun. Uh, you can hit the various tunnels in the game, you'll get some points. And uh, for some reason our next mode was lit, and that actually uh, collected the final mode on the, uh, the board which is toward the mansion. And so now what we can do is we can try to actually go all the way back through the mansion again in this wizard mode. And if we come out of this, um, we'll actually go back to normal play. And if we drain, we go back to normal play as well. So there's no more lighting of the chair. Um, basically the modes just start themselves now. And this is uh, the wizard mode of the game. So what I'm gonna do is just try to hit that center ramp. And, uh, you know, try to... I actually would like to get the Super Bear Kicks if I can. That would be really cool. And I'll try to go for this bonus X as well, and I, I missed. The through the pop upper shot is actually quite difficult. So, you know, trying to hit that on the fly is very, uh, very difficult. And you'll see me miss it a lot. It's 26 Bear Kicks. And unfortunately, you can no longer get into your regular multi-ball. Ooh! Until you lose a ball like this and you go back into normal play. So... If you're trying to get big points of the game, sometimes not playing out toward the mansion is actually a good thing. Because you can get right back into, you know, going through your modes, which is a lot of points, and then getting that 50 million again as you loop back around through the mansion. So my bonus would have been a lot higher if I managed to get my bonus X up, but unfortunately I had failed to do that. And the ball is going to actually kick out from the right hand side. So you notice that there's actually a little yellow light uh, lit up in the middle of the play field. That actually means that you can send the ball over to Thing for a small amount of points. It's not a lot of points, but it is something. Thing will take the ball, bring it in the box, give you points. And, um, and yeah, you'll get some small points. It's good to collect it if it's lit, uh, especially if you're playing on a real machine where the scores you collect are generally a little bit lower than they would be on the, the pinball arcade. So again, it's easy to keep playing the pinball arcade version all day, but on the real machine, it's harder to keep things going. So like 241 million is actually a really good score on the real machine. Uh, it's kind of a pathetic score on the pinball arcade version though. So, but uh, let's go ahead and just uh, keep going through our modes. And uh, I'll try to explain some other things as we go. So mansion, uh, sorry, cousin it, there's a set of targets uh, up that you can hit from the, the upper right flipper. It's, uh, it's not really worth going for, but if you do actually hit the uh, the target, you'll get some small points. And then those small points are added as end of ball bonus uh, at the end of the game. So, there we go. Started another mode. So, again, this is Graveyard. Or this is Graveyard at max. So, if I ever hit the pop bumpers, uh, well, you can get awarded the Graveyard value um, by shooting the hole in the far right with the small thing flips flipper. And... Uh, but we don't really need to worry about that too much. Mamushka is a fast scoring mode, so any switch that you hit will give you small points. And again, I believe that's also something else that's added to your end of ball bonus. So, not not bad to play out. Uh, you know, it'll sort of just play out itself, you know, kind of as you go. There we go. There is our uh, bonus X. We got a bonus multiplier. So notice that I'm not <clears throat> I'm not actually flipping from that mini flipper up top. I'm actually just letting the ball drop down, uh, which is a uh, good uh, control technique. So you, you can basically control the flow of the game. That's one of the big things about pinball is a lot of people will play pinball and they'll say it's just completely random, and that can't be farther from the truth. Uh, there is a lot of skill involved in pinball and a lot of discipline required, which is something I always talk about in my my various Let's Plays, you know, the discipline that's required uh, playing certain games. So I'm actually just kind of flailing on the fly here because, there we go, we got it. We're up to 3x bonus multiplier. And Thing flips again. Let's see if Thing will flip it correctly this time. And he failed. So unfortunately, on the, uh, the pinball arcade version of Adam's Family, Thing flips isn't the most reliable thing. Uh, at the local machine we have at a, a local bar, um, it's actually very reliable. It's pretty much almost 100% of the time. It's really nice. And so every time Thing flips successfully, you get 5 million points. And if Thing flips, you know, like six times in a playthrough, that's an easy 30 million points that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just try to light my next mode, which is extra ball. You know, just light the extra ball. Let's see if we can hit that loop. Boom. Got it. Four times playfield multiplier. 
And we got a combo too. So you, there are combos in the game, which is really fun. Adam's Family was designed by a fellow named Pat Lawler. Um, just about all of his games are very control friendly. Um, and uh, they also usually have really interesting shots that link into one another for, for combos and things like that. Uh, so if you like Adam's Family but want to try some other pinball games, uh, look for games developed by Pat Waller. And I actually managed to collect that bonus X again. So we're going to get a lot of bonus points uh, just by draining out here, assuming I don't tilt. Let's go for that center ramp again. Boom, there it is. And it looks like I'm actually maxed out on my bonus X, and so uh, I'm not going to actually be able to get that up any further. Alright, quick multi-ball is lit again. Gonna go ahead and hit that center shot. Got it, first try. That center shot can be really tricky to get the hang of, but once you get it down, it's uh, it's really satisfying, and uh, you do get some good stuff going, like your quick multi-ball. So what I'm going to do is just do a short plunge here, and have the ball feed to my left flipper. So bounce, and then hold the right flipper up, just like that. Alright, so I'm going to go for those super bear kicks again. And I'm missing my shots, and those magnets are not helping. And that's our multi-ball. That's our two-ball multi-ball. So let's go for that... Uh, Set a ramp again. We're at 34 bear kicks, and there's an easy, uh, easy points for collecting thing. You'll notice that thing can be spelled out on the top right, and there are things you do over the course of the playfield that uh, will light that up. And once you spell out thing, you'll get some points. So you can also get um, million plus on the uh, the upper uh, left ramp. Uh, the first time you hit it, I think it's worth one million, then it goes two, three, four, all the way up to nine million points a shot. And that, unfortunately, does actually um, reset back to uh, the default values when you drain. So, but getting the, the million plus up is really satisfying, and it's another way to get uh, easy points in the game. That's actually one strategy tournament players will do, is they'll just try to go for million plus over and over. They'll use their multi-balls to just shoot that upper ramp. And if they get up to 9 million points, that's very good points. Alright, so another 2-ball multi-ball. It's basically the same thing as the quick multi-ball, it's just not worth as much. And so again, just like before, I'm going to let the ball kick over from the right-hand side. Bounce, and then hold the right flipper up, just like so. Now, you could sometimes do this on a real Adams family, it just depends on the machine, depends on the angle and things like that. The magnet's got the ball again. If you ever see the ball just stop dead in its tracks as it goes up the playfield, it's because of the magnets. The magnets are actually very frustrating on the pinball arcade version of Adam's Family. The magnets can be bad on the real thing, um, but not nearly as bad as the magnets are on the, uh, the pinball arcade version. That was a nice two-way combo there. Technically, it would have been... I, I consider it a three-way combo, but the game doesn't see it as that. But basically what happened is I hit the, uh, um, the bookcase, and then that ricocheted into the the right flipper up top, and into the center, uh, the left ramp, and then into the uh, the bog on the uh, the right from the uh, the upper mini flipper. Let's go ahead and just try to keep progressing through our mansion. This is tunnel hunt again. So what I can do here is I can try to say backhand the chair. So that's five million points. I like playing out tunnel hunt because, uh, like Seance, it's an easy thirty million points if you get it. So the next one's going to be the, the right scoop, and then I'm going to let the ball just bounce over from the, the right kick out. So bounce, grab it, I'm going to go for the uh, the bookcase. Got it. Easy 30 million points right there. Kicks out from the right. Unfortunately, I don't think that counts as a lock, unfortunately. It would have been really nice if it did. Again, I don't want to tilt because uh, I do have lots of really good points and bonus that I don't want to throw down the drain. Alright, so I'm going to short plunge and get my second lock for free, just like before. There we go, ball. Ooh, actually it's not working. It might only work on the first multi-ball. So very interesting, I forgot about that. Sometimes you can backhand that shot, 
but it's very tough on the pinball arcade. Million plus, four million points, and then another easy five million for that upper flipper shot. Ooh, it multiplied at times five. That was a 20 million point shot. That was totally worth it. Looks like my, uh, my mansion lit because of the upper ramp shot. And uh, one trick you can do during seance is to, instead of just flipping, is... Oh, come on, that was a terrible drain. I tried holding on to it and then live catching it, but then I flipped again by accident and it just sent the ball flying up. So that was pretty bad, but we're going to get a lot of points and bonus. Let's see what our bonus... Yeah, 90 million points versus the 30-something 30, 30 we had earlier. Alright, let's try to go for that skill shot. And too far again. I, again, I find the skill shot just to be really difficult on uh, this version of Adam's Family. So my chair's lit. Uh, I'm going to try to backhand that lock shot though. Got it. Just like that. So a backhand is if you just try to hit the ball straight up or more towards the backhand side of whatever side of the play field the ball's on. So if I'm on the left flipper, I'm basically backhanding the ball into the chair or into the pop bumpers or something like that. So I think I can actually hit the chair to start the multi-ball, even on the second multi-ball. Whereas I have to, on the second multi-ball, I have to lock behind the bookcase. But at least to start it, I can still shoot the chair, which is a lot easier than shooting the bookcase. So it's going to go right, left, right. So I'm going to just fling one ball up, just like so. And, wow, that was bad. Now, unfortunately, we we uh, lost our million plus. Our million plus is starting back over from one one million points. But we did get a jackpot, which is nice. So, um, the wise thing for me to do would be to be to just time out the magnets. But I'm gonna go ahead and just go for that bookcase anyway and fail. Let's try to backhand it because that seems to be somewhat reliable. I've done it multiple times uh, over these last couple weeks of playing this game. Let's try it again. Boom, there it is. Alright, just hold the right flipper up to see if we can go for that super jackpot. We're just gonna, gonna, gonna go for the middle shot and fail, and we're out. No super jackpot for us. Let's go ahead and start our next mode. Alright, and now the tour of the mansion is lit for another 50 million points. Let's go ahead and just backhand the chair again. 50 million. Specials lit, extra balls lit again. So I'm gonna actually let the ball just bounce over to the right and try to get myself another extra ball. So for the rest of this playthrough, my goal is gonna be to try to get super bear kicks going because I don't know if I've actually done that on this. Um, I probably have actually. I've played this game quite a bit over the last three or four years. Um, so what we really just want to do is go for the center ramps all day. Unfortunately, they're they're very difficult to hit from the right flipper on the fly. You really have to be trapped from the right flipper. So another thing we can do is just try to go for this combo up here over and over. Get a mini ramp because that counts towards it. Trying to stay under control here. There's another ramp. All right, so now we can hit it from a controlled shot on the right-hand flipper, just like that. And I can try to go for that bonus multiplier. Oh. All right, double bear kicks, boom, that's good. 39, with that bonus X. Nice ramp shot, very nice. That was really a really good combo. Those combos are really tough to get. All right, so we're back in Seance. We go ahead and just let the ball bounce over, just like so. Magnets grab that one. Magnets grab it again. And again. There we go, got it. Very nice. Nice, I got the combo. You actually get a lot of points for getting those mini flipper combos. It's such a satisfying shot. And I'll take that. Looks like we're in Tunnel Hunt. We just got a free 5 million points for hitting that shot. So let me go for the chair. 
Another 10 mil. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hold up my left flipper. I really should be playing this mode out, so... Let's go ahead and just go for that center ramp again. Again, my my goal is super bear kicks. And some bonus X. I like bonus X. Alright, tunnel hunt is over. Raise the dead, which is the uh, the pop bumpers. Don't really want that. So center ramp again. Boom, another bear kick. 44 bear kicks. Bonus X. Nice ramp shot. Very nice combo. Very nice combo. Four-way combo. That is that is excellent. Those are very, very satisfying. I love combo shots in pinball. They're some of my favorite things to do. Alright, just gonna try to uh, go straight up, and I failed. Alright, right into the, the pop bumpers for Raise the Dead. So we got a little bit of points for that, nothing crazy. And let's go for the uh, the center shot. So the next one's actually gonna be Quick Multi Ball. So I could actually try to just go for that Quick Multi Ball. And too early, the mode didn't end yet. It's We still have three seconds left, two seconds left on it now. There we go, so we got some points for that. I was gonna say try to hit that upper ramp, but we failed. Got a graveyard award, which isn't really worth much. So back to the middle ramp, and I keep brooking the middle ramp. Alright, thing lock. Got it. So, pretty good game so far, actually. You know, we're getting... Uh, we're about halfway to Super Bear Kicks. Let's see if we can get that skill shot, and we failed. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going for those ramps. The magnets just keep, gra uh, keep grabbing the balls, unfortunately, which makes it tough to deal with. But upper flipper shot. Oh, and I didn't realize the ball rolled off the flipper on the bottom. I wasn't paying attention to the bottom flipper. So now we've toured the mansion completely. Um, and really all we can do now is just do other stuff, like use the uh, the thing mini flipper. Um, try to go for uh, the bear kicks and million pluses. So that's what we're going to do. Just keep going for the million pluses. Try to get our bonus X up. Very nice combo shot. Very nice. We're getting a lot of those. Four-way combo. Super satisfying. We get the bonus X again. No, we're maxed out on bonus multiplier, which is good. All right, thing flips. Can I get it? There we go. Let's see if thing can get it. There. So I'm not flipping right there. Um, when you hit that orange in lane on the, the left-hand side of the play field, and you hit that middle ramp immediately after, the mini flipper flips automatically. That's called thing flips. And so I like to just, uh, you know, kind of let it do its own thing when that happens. That was a nice little ricochet. Another extra ball. So if I can get the super bear kicks, I'm just going to milk that as much as I can. And then, um, just see what we can get score-wise. And then, you know, after that I'll probably just intentionally drain over and over to, uh, to see what we can get. Uh, you know, bonus-wise. Not really going for a super high score here, I'm just trying to show off everything on the playfield. And again, bear kicks is like... The super bear kicks is the last thing that we can really do here. So, again, a nice little combo is to do the right ramp into the middle shot, into the left ramp, into the swamp. So, like this. And then like that. And not like that. Go. 54 bear kicks. Ten million grave award. That's actually a good amount of points for doing pretty much nothing. All right, so right back up to the ramp. Boom, got it. 55 bear kicks. Center shot. Can we do the upper ramp? Let's see. Very tough shot. 
very tough shot to be consistent at. As you as you noticed, probably uh, I've missed quite a bit on that. So yeah, very tough to deal with. So middle ramp again, 56 bear kicks, and I let I let go of the flipper too early there, which made it hop over, unfortunately. Go, 57. Fifty-eight. And we hit the train shot up there. Every few shots on that train gives you uh, some points. There we go, got another graveyard, so we're gonna just let the ball bounce over to the left, just like so. There we go. Fifty-nine bear kicks. Middle shot. Got it. Million plus. Oh, we got million plus up to eight million. I didn't realize it. Million plus is worth a lot of points now. So, all right. Set a ramp. 60 bear kicks. So maybe the, the left ramp actually doesn't um, award you bear kicks. I think it's just the center ramp. But the uh, the left ramp will light your next mode if uh, it will light your next mode if you're <laughs> not stuck in tour the mansion like I am right now. So notice that all my mansion slots are lit up, and they will not disappear until I drain my ball. So 61 bear kicks, middle ramp. Let's see if we can get those million pluses. Nope, missed it. And that's okay. 62. Nope, missed it again. Getting small points for that graveyard every time, though, which is fine. 63. And that's out. So, while, you know, <laughs> you know, I didn't get as many bear kicks as I wanted, I did get a ton of points and bonus, though, for doing all that. 115 million points and bonus. A very huge bonus in this game. So again, my goal is going to be to get those bear kicks going, but now I can actually go through the modes all over again if I really wanted to. You notice that my score is actually clipped off the dot matrix display. Now it is still keeping track of your score, um, so don't uh, don't freak out if you go over a, a billion points. A billion points in a real Adams family is an amazing score, by the way. Uh, very very amazing score. There we go. Nice combo. Now I'm going to let this bounce over and just collect my next mansion, which is going to be the Mamushka. And try to work our way towards our next extra ball. If we want to get 99 bear kicks, the uh, getting those extra balls is very important. There we go. 65 bear kicks. Middle shot. And it looks like uh, the Bear Kick Award actually just started our next mansion mode, which is great. It's another benefit to shooting that center ramp over and over again. No, no, no. Alright, very nice combo shot, and now I can backhand the chair again to start my next mode, which is going to be a quick multi-ball. There we go, just like that. Ball bounce over, hit that middle shot, just like so. I haven't gotten a skill shot once. I would love to show it off, but I just I keep overshooting or undershooting, unfortunately. And that's quick multi ball, really really quick. Back in that ramp for the bear kick, 66 bear kicks. Shot. Can we go for that ramp? Nope. So I'm just going to let the ball bounce over now. Collect my next mode, which is only 9 million points. See, there are three modes that are just worth points. You get 3 million, 6 million, and 9 million. So you'll get 18 million total just for those modes. Let's go ahead and hit that ramp, which will qualify our next mode. I'm going to go for. Oops. Shot it way too early. Boom. That works. I'll take that. And... All 
All right, since I've got the ball, the ball on the right flipper, I'm going to go ahead and go for that ramp again, because Super Bear Kicks is my goal. Good shot, million plus. There we go. That was a risky on-the-fly shot to the chair. I don't recommend doing that. But I went for it and I got it. It's very risky, though. If you brick, you know, you, you risk the ball going down the side drains. I'll take that. That at least lets me get the ball under control. I can just let it bounce over like this. So I'm totally okay with that. So right, right back to where I was, going for the bear kicks. And now I do want to collect that extra ball. I'll take that too. 70 bear kicks. So, middle ramp again. We're still on ball one with all those extra balls. Good, getting these a little bit faster. I'm okay with that. It's one good thing about missing that middle shot that I'm going for is I'm getting the ball back under control quickly and able to go for those bear kicks sooner. There we go. 73. Extra ball, again. I'll take that, that lets me get the ball under control. So, I mean, I could just hold the right flipper up. I don't have to let it bounce over. Bouncing over does seem a, a little less scary, though. Because when I try to trap it on the right flipper, a lot of times it, uh... The ball has a tendency of veering towards the middle of the play field. Let's go ahead and collect this while we're at it. Might as well try to get through that mansion again. The graveyard's at max. Just hold the flipper up, just like so. And go for that center ramp. Nope, oh, failed. Let's try it again. There we go. 74 bear kicks. Starts my next mode, which is going to be Seance. Oh, no, this is Tunnel Hunt. Okay. Seance is going to be the next one, unless I hit the pop bumpers. I believe the pop bumpers will rotate um, the next mode that's lit. Which is very typical for games like these. Alright, 75 bear kicks. And 75 bear kicks was our next award. So we're in Seance. And I, do I really want to play out Seance? I don't know. Let's go ahead and try to hit the uh, the chair though to finish off Tunnel Hunt. There we go. 15 million points for free. That was that was free. All right, quick multi ball again. If I can hit that middle shot, it bounced over a little weird, probably because of the magnets. All right, seance. Oh, there, almost drained. Good little save, though. Next mode, that is, uh, Raise the Dead. That's the pop bumper mode. Hit each pop bumper, hit pop bumpers four times for three million points. Let's go ahead and hit that middle ramp. There's our bear kick. 78 bear kicks. And here's another 50 million points. We have toured the mansion yet again. This Let's Play is highly overseeing its welcome. But we're getting close to activating Super Bear Kicks. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and just hold our left flipper up, just like so. Go for those center ramps again. 79 Bear Kicks. That's 80. I'm going for that bonus X now, too. That's 81. There we go. Eighty two. Left orbit. Got it. Ooh, I'll take that. Extra ball, and I get another shot on the upper ramp for a million plus. Million plus is at five right now, which is good. That's double bear kicks. I'd like to collect that if I can. Got it. It's 84. Very nice combo. 
It's not the four-way, because I missed that last shot. But still worth it. I'll take that for free. All right, seance again. Knock three times. That's one. Just let the ball bounce over. And another one. Twice. So on a real machine, those knocks are done with a knocker that's actually banging the cabinet itself. It's a really awesome uh, effect. That's difficult to replicate on the pinball arcade. Although if you got rumble turned on, you should feel it. I don't. I always leave rumble turned off when I play modern games. Another easy set of points right there. And one more shot for 15 million for Seance. Got it. A little bit of grace period, just a tiny, tiny bit. Alright, back to those center ramps. 88 bear kicks. All right, we're maxed out on our end of ball bonus again, so we're gonna get over, probably over 100 million points for bonus again. <clears throat> all right, good little combo right there. Got some million plus. Got the shot across the play field into the the swamp. Let's go ahead and try to collect that 10 mil. Or not. It's timed out. Not a big deal. Alright, raise the dead again. But who cares? We're going for center, uh, center ramp shots. Trying to get those super bear kicks going. And million plus. Million plus is fun. Boom. Got one. 8 mil. Look at that. That's an easy 15 million points right there. Ninety bear kicks. Last stretch, guys. All right, we're going to go ahead and just let the ball bounce over. Like so, trap it up. 91 bear kicks. Ninety-two. Alright, quick multi balls ready again. Why, thank you, baby. Let's go for that skill shot. Can we get it? Nope. <laughs> can't hit that skill shot to save my life. Alright, just let the ball bounce over. We're at 1.4 million points. Trying to stay under control here, but it's a little tough with those magnets. Doing some doing some nudging when I need to. And I can't hit that center ramp at all because of those magnets. They're just getting in my way completely. Hold the right flipper up, just like so. And that's out. Got a special, that's okay. Specials don't really do anything here. Um, but there probably is a pinball arcade goal to collect the specials. So if you're trying to get all those wizard modes and then, I'm uh, sorry, those, um, those uh, goals that pinball arcade offers, then um, yeah, getting that is good. All right, that's double bear kick, so I can get it, and I failed. And I missed the million plus as well, and that's okay. Let's go ahead and hit that center ramp. So close to super bear kicks, we're up to 93 now. 93 bear kicks.
four. Go ahead and go for the swamp, and there we go. Got some good points for that. 20 million points for that one shot. That is amazing. Oops, shot way too early there. There we go, 95. 96, that was a nice little <laughs> accidental ricochet, I'll take that. Alright, center ramp again. 97, we're so close. Alright, I can do multi-ball if I want to. I didn't realize I could uh, do greed uh, after touring the mansion. I thought that was blocked off. Because it's blocked off when you try to tour the mansion. But I could actually go for that multi-ball if I wanted to. But I'm not worried about it. 99, super bear bonus. So there we go, we got it. And these are super bear kicks. So every bear kick now is probably worth uh, 5 million points, I believe. So let's go ahead and try it. Or I can lock a ball instead. I mean, that works too. And I can fail at getting the skill shot once more. There we go. Yep, another 5 million for free. And it just awards that over and over and over again for every center ramp that you collect. And that's pretty much it. We've done just about everything we can do on Adam's family. We got the super bear kicks. And so that's worth a ton of points. Of course, you've got combos, which we've done plenty of in this playthrough, just like so. Boom. Nice four-way combo right there. Lots of points. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just drain out. Uh, so that is the Adam's family, guys. I'm not going to go ahead and keep my game going. We're going to be here four hours, and I... I don't want to do that. <laughs> as, as much as some of you might want to see that, I don't really want to do that. So, 176 million points in bonus is ridiculous. Still no skill shot. So what I want to do is I've already hit a switch, which uh, removes my ball save. Uh, Adam's family doesn't really have a ball save. Um, there is one exception. If you plunge all the way to the top and you don't hit the skill shot or the pop bumpers, you can actually let the ball roll back down, drain, and since you did not hit a switch, yes, finally a skill shot, an hour into the playthrough. If you don't hit a switch and then you let the ball drain, you will get it back, but if you hit one switch, the ball save goes away completely. So even without multipliers, we're getting 27 million in bonus, which is a lot of bonus points for doing pretty much nothing. And I still have extra balls left over. So one thing I could do is if I wanted to just try to maximize my score, um, like this right now, is I could try to just do, um, you know, get my bonus X up, hit those super bear kicks, get the bonus X up, and then drain. Just to give myself a little extra points. Even though it doesn't really matter, I'm not going to beat my personal high score uh, on the leaderboards. But there we go. That was a legit drain. That was not an intentional drain. Alright. Nope, no skill shot. Still on ball one. But we're going to be on ball two after this because we have no extra balls at the moment. We've used all of them. Alright, quick multi-balls multi lit. Don't really care. And let's go for that center ramp. Take advantage of those super bear kicks. Got it. I'm going to go ahead and just let it... And let's let it drain. I'm going to go ahead and just... And normally what I'll do is I'll just exit the game, but what I 
I'm gonna start doing is just exiting intentionally. Um, not exiting intentionally, but draining intentionally, because that'll actually save my score to my local leaderboard. Which you don't really need to do, it's not really a big deal. All I really care about is whatever my highest score is on the online leaderboards. Alright, no skill shot. And this is our last one. Have a nice swim. Nice combo. Very nice combo. I will take that. Another nice combo. Very nice. Very satisfying. That's so much fun to do. Okay, try this again. It is again. Oh, we missed the last shot. It's okay. Just getting that bonus X up so we can get some decent bonus points at the end. I don't need them, but I figured, you know, if we're going to end this, we might as well end it on a high note. Thing flips, Let's go, and Thing got it that time. Good job, Thing. And that's it. I think our bonus X is maxed out now. Thing flips again. Thing got it. Good job, Thing. And so I think we're up to 2 billion points right now, 2 billion, 117 million, which is quite a few points. <clears throat> that is a super satisfying shot. And that's a ball lock for multi-ball. Still missed the skill shot. Um, we'll try to end it with one last multi-ball. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I actually have to hit behind the bookcase now. Yep. So the chair's not lit. I have to actually shoot behind, shoot behind the bookcase. So this is going to be pretty tricky with the magnets. Oh, look at that. First try. Oh, yeah. It's going to be so hard. Gets it on first try. All right. So it's going to go right, left, right. Oh, interesting. It's that is Oh, it's because there's no we didn't start multi-ball with the chair. So very interesting. Um on your third multi-ball, if you have to shoot the bookcase three times, then all the balls kick out on right. That is a detail I did not know about. There we go. Relit our jackpot. And that's it. No super jackpot at all. I don't think we got one super. Alright, let's go ahead and just drain out. That's going to be our game. Uh, trust me, when I play this long, it's so tempting to keep going. But since I'm on a Let's Play and I'm recording, uh, I do want this to not take all day. 
So there we go. That is the Adams Family for the Pinball Arcade. Uh, this is, you know, regardless whether you play them in Pinball Arcade or you play the real deal out in the real world, it's such a fun game. It's one of the best pinball machines ever made. One of the most popular games, too. Uh, it was came out at a period where pinball was blowing up again, and it was partially responsible for that. It's just such an excellent game and uh, so much fun to play. Let's see what uh, our uh, our leaderboard score is. And this is a bug in the pinball arcade, like it'll always take you to Tales of the Arabian Nights for some odd reason, even though it's, I think it's actually listing scores for Adam's Family. And it's something that was never fixed. Um, and it probably will never be fixed because Farsight doesn't seem to like the Xbox platform too much. So 5.9 billion seems to be my top score on Adam's Family, even though it's saying Tales of the Arabian Nights, this is actually for, uh, for Adam's Family. So, uh, I definitely know I could get higher than that. Uh, it's very easy to keep things going, but still, you know, under 20 in the leaderboards, I'm pretty happy with. Um, you'll see me, you'll see my name there on pretty much uh, um, all the leaderboards for just about every table on the Pinball Arcade. I have played a lot of this over the years, but uh, yeah, some of my scores uh, could be better. Uh, but is it worth me playing three hours to get, I don't know, 9 billion points in sixth place? Probably not. Uh, probably not worth it. So I don't bother with it, um, but I am happy to be on the boards uh, in general, at least. So if you see my name, A. Mackertz on there, that is me. And uh, yeah, so but that's going to do it for me, guys. Uh, that was Adam's Family for the Pinball Arcade. I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. I've got many other Pinball Arcade Let's Plays on here. If you're new to my channel, I've got Bram Stoker's Dracula, Monster Bash, Medieval Madness, Circus, Circus Voltaire, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Attack from Mars, and a whole bunch of others as well. Uh, if there are any other pinball arcade tables you guys would like to see me cover, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try to get to those. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me. Uh, if you're new to my channel, subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, for all of you guys already subbed, thank you for your continued support. And until the next one, take it easy.